In today's video, I'll be doing a first impression of the Bare Minerals new liquid foundation, the Bare Skin Foundation. So if you would like to see that video, please stay tuned. So first I'm going to tell you how I came across this foundation. I went into Sephora yesterday because as most of you know, or some of you may know, Bare Minerals, a primarily, actually an all mineral makeup line, they don't have any liquid foundation. So this was their first liquid foundation and I said, let's go try it even though I have enough foundation I figured it would be good to try something new and also do review to help some of you guys who are looking for this foundation but when I went over to the little station at Sephora I noticed that they had a lot of colors the range of colors was quite nice I think in my opinion the only downfall I think is that in the darker skin tone ranges I feel like there were big skips from color to color I picked up just a sample to see how I like it in number 17, but number 17 is, it's not quite, like, um, it's a little too dark, but I think it might work for the summertime as I am exposed to more sunlight and stuff like that. So you'll get to see that when I start applying the product. But I was a little disappointed when I went over there to look myself. It seemed like one set of colors were too light and the next the next sequence of colors were too dark and red. The lady helped me find a color that was a closest match to my skin, but I still don't feel like it's dead on. So if you're around my skin tone, a MAC NC44 or a um, Lancome 450N in the Taunt E Dole Foundation or what else? Makeup Forever 18 Face and Body. Makeup Forever HD 170. If you're around that range, you might have a hard time finding a shade match for you. I found that either the colors were too red, too light, or too dark. I don't think there was anything that matched me perfectly, but we'll see what number 17 looks like. Okay, so now let's get into the claims that this product makes. So the actual name is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. And from what I remember, this is a foundation marketed toward people who want a serum and a liquid foundation in one. So it's going to, over time, gradually improve the texture, tone, brightness of your skin while also providing some coverage. So the product is $29, which I think is an awesome price for a liquid foundation. Most liquid foundations I use are anywhere from $40 to $55 or $60. So $29 is a pretty reasonable price, if you can call it that, for a foundation um, that has such claims as this one. The description, a breakthrough tone correcting mineral foundation and skin care serum in one. What it does, created with exceptional purity in mind, this ultra thin skin perfecting fluid provides seamless adjustable coverage and natural finish and the look and feel of beautiful skin while delivering a noticeably brighter, more youthful appearance. It's like nothing you've ever felt before. Just testing it on my skin, I want to kind of say it reminds me of the Makeup Forever face and body just off of the bat, but I could be wrong. It's formulated without parabens, silicone fragrance, water, or oil. Now the bottle. I know I saw a review where someone had trouble getting the product to come out of the bottle. It's, it's a weird bottle. It has like a uh, squeeze tube. And I did find when I was testing out some of the colors to find my shade that it was hard to get the products out. And it's really liquidy, so there's like a ball in it and you have to shake it. And it was just, I don't think the packaging is the best, but it is $29, so I think it's reasonable for the price. Now, um, it doesn't, I'm looking on the Sephora website right now, it doesn't specifically say if it's marketed more toward dry skin or oily people, but it says, for dry skin, apply the appropriate moisturizer to ensure skin is nice and hydrated. For oily skin, make sure you have cleansed and hydrated skin appropriately. Try using the primer to prep the skin before using bare skin. Now, with my foundation reviews, overviews, or first impressions, I'm not going to use a primer because I want to show you how the foundation performs on my bare skin alone. Now that I've talked about who can use it, the specifics of it, the price, what my initial opinion of it was, let's get into the demo. Okay, so like I said, I did pick it up in number 17, but I do think it's a little dark for me, but we'll see how it matches when it's applied to my whole face. I just picked up a sample at Sephora. This is what it looks like in the container. Now, I don't know exactly how I should apply the foundation because I'm not exactly sure of the texture. 
So I have brought my um, Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush, which is the brush that I use for my face and body because when I'm using a thinner foundation, I like to kind of paint it on, so I'll use this brush. And when I'm using a fuller coverage foundation, which I don't believe that this is, I use my um, Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 because I feel this provides good coverage with a good coverage foundation. So I'm more inclined to believe I'll be using this one. So I'm going to warm it up on the back of my hand and I'm going to start applying it. Now, um, looking into the mirror, I'm actually pleasantly surprised that it is giving quite good coverage for it to be what I thought was um, a lighter, thinner foundation. Um, but I can tell that it does look a little too orangey um we'll see when i blend it out but i am really impressed with the coverage that it's giving um i thought it would be more of a light foundation but it's covering um pretty well especially for it to be a mineral liquid foundation. Now I'm going to do my forehead. Now I'm not sure how it's coming out on camera, but it does look a little too ready on me. I almost kind of look like an Oompa Loompa. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it is... Maybe it's not too red, but I do think it's a bit dark. Possibly this would work for me in the dead middle of summer when I have gotten a tad bit darker. But right now I am seeing that it is a little light. So let me finish applying it and then I will come back. Okay, so I have applied the foundation to my whole face. I don't know if you can tell, but just off of my first impression, I'm loving the finish that it gives my skin, it, it does kind of look like bare skin. When I look in the mirror, I don't feel like I have foundation caked on. Um, I actually didn't use a lot. And if you can see, it gives a great coverage for the hyperpigmentation that I do have on my facial area. So I'm really loving the coverage. It does feel like it's going to be a bit oily. And because I have very oily skin, especially in the summertime, I'm not sure how that's going to mix. But I will come back later on and let you know how I'm feeling feeling about that but I'm really really loving the coverage the finish um I didn't need to use a lot the only thing I'm still not okay about is the color it does look rather dark on me um but I think in the warmer months this would be perfect for my skin tone I'm actually really really impressed from this foundation so I will come back um, let me see what time it is now. It's one o'clock. I will come back in a couple of hours to show you how the foundation is wearing. Um, once again, I didn't apply any primer and my face was completely matte. I'm not going to blot or touch up and I'll come back in a couple of hours. Okay, so it is now 5 p.m. It has been four hours. I was going to wait probably six to eight hours and show you the progression of this foundation, how it wears on my face through like a normal work day or something. But after four hours, I just can't take it anymore. I'm way too shiny and oily. I just want to take off this foundation. I feel so disgusting and I feel like I'm drenched in oil. And as you can see or not, I'm not sure. I'm very oily, shiny. Um, I took my palm like 15 minutes ago and dabbed it on the side of my nose and all you saw was like orange grease. Um, if it's showing true to color right now, I am very orange. I asked somebody, uh, do I, what, what does my face look like? And he said, you look orange. So uh, the number 17 color or shade definitely isn't for me. I don't think they have a shade that suits me because the other colors were too lighter or too dark. Um, I have some settling in the creases of my laugh lines under my eyes. It's super, super shiny. I'm just like an oil slick right now. I cannot wait to take this foundation off, but overall, I really do love this foundation. I say if you have normal to dry skin, 
or normal skin in the summertime, maybe this is for you. I might be able to work with this foundation in the winter time. Well, if they had a shade to match me, which they don't. Um, it's just way too oily and too orange. So unfortunately, this product didn't work out for me. But maybe if you're um, lucky, you can find a shade that matches for you and if your skin is um, compatible with the formula of this foundation. I would say this is probably more geared toward people with dry to normal skin and if you can find a shade that matches. Overall, I would give this product uh, a 6 out of 10. And the reason why I rated it so high, if you will, is because I do like the coverage and the um the feel of the foundation on your skin it gives way more coverage than my mac i mean than my uh, makeup forever face and body so if you're looking for a light foundation that looks just like bare skin hence the name but that gives a lot of coverage i would say this foundation is for you i'm still really impressed with the coverage that uh this foundation gave me and i did put a little bit of blush on my cheeks so if you're noticing some rosiness that's what that is but yeah um, I, I still can't get over the coverage. I thought this foundation was going to be very sheer, but surprisingly enough, it is highly pigmented. So it's a winner if it works well with your skin and you can find your shade. If not, uh, I don't know, but I'm going to have to pass on this one. Yeah, unfortunately. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye.